Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Valerie. And we're at my home. So we just got a brand new 4K Samsung TV, but then we realized that our receiver was uh, not really capable of handling 4K. It was only uh, 1K or whatever. Uh, so uh, we decided to get a new receiver. So we got this very cool Denon AVR-X2700H. Uh, so we thought uh, it's pretty neat. We thought we'd unbox it for you and take a look at what's inside. So Mark's got the box right here. Here we go. And I also printed out the spec sheet because this has got a lot of details and I want to make sure that we cover everything that's important, at least that I think is important. So we got that done. Let's open the box. Oh, you know what? I'm going to show everyone. Check all the labels they have. I think you have the list in that thing here, but look at all the labels that are on the box of the stuff it supports. There's like a million logos. And like you got them all, all there, down right? here too. So about every different kind of standard you could imagine. And not just sound standards you'd expect like Dolby, Atmos, and DTX. That's loud. You make yeah, a lot of noise there. Making a lot of noise. But tons and tons of tech standards. It supports Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. It works with Apple AirPlay. It works with all the streaming services. It's AirPlay 2, by the way. Oh, AirPlay 2, excuse me. Uh, hmm. It also works with Alexa, Google Assistant. So all these great features here. So you're going to okay. open it up now? So here, you ready? Okay, so user manual. Wow, that's it? Really thin. There you go. Hmm. Is that? I'm listening to music every day. Maybe that, oh, that's the Heos stuff. Well, it's Heos built in. So Heos is a Denon um, application that allows you to stream internet music like services like Pandora, Spotify, Amazon Music, Tidal, Deezer, Napster even. Napster? Mm -hmm. You still have Napster? I guess. I think they just got acquired by somebody. I read that in the news. All right, so this is a bunch of labels and stuff. That's actually kind of nice. Oh, these are nice labels. Oh, this is neat. You want to take that out? Yeah. yeah, I think there is so much fun to open up a receiver. Is this an antenna? It's an antenna. Mm. You need that for AM, I think. Oh. I listen to AM all the time. All the time. Now, who knows? AM loop antenna, that's what you it know, says. Right. And I, this I is think the... I have a drawer full, full of these that I never use. <laughs> <laughs> this is an FM antenna. Now that you need. You need that. You need that. Uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi certified. This looks like it's like little rabbit ears. Yeah, I'm going to show you on the thing when we get it out. Okay. And then this uh, gave us a whole bunch of nice labels so you can figure out what everything's going to, like L, R. It's not upside down. Mm -hmm. It's right set up. It's right set up. Uh, Blu-ray, DVD, so you can label things. Uh, actually, this um, actually supports 8K video if we ever get an 8K TV. So the, this uh, receiver is going to last a long time. So That's in four good. years when 8K is like more popular, I figured we'd have a receiver for yeah, it. Yeah, we have it. Okay. All right, what do we got here? Oh, look at this. Declarations and stuff. That's cute. What is this? I have no idea. Looks like wings or something. Microphone stand assembly instructions. Oh, you know what that is? What? Oh, is that for the um, voice assistants? Nope. This is because when you put your stereos in your in the in our case the family room, uh, you put this microphone in the middle of the family room, in different spots, and the processor inside the receiver figures out the best adjustments for the speakers themselves. So well, you have the best neat. sound in the room. Yep. It looks kind of weird. It looks like we're putting like a little rocket ship in our... Like, yeah, I was reading somewhere where this is like a cheaper one than, the, than our previous one. I don't know. I got to remember having cardboard stuff. It's cardboard. It's a little All right. strange. All right, here we go. This is the important piece. Oh, the remote. Here's a remote. Oh, here's the microphone for sound calibration. And so that's the thing that goes on the This cardboard. is the thing that goes on this little stand right. assembly. So Odyssey thing. is their technology to make the sound really good. Interesting. For best results, mount on a tripod or a cardboard assembly. You want to take it out? Okay. You want me to take it oh, Okay. It's like a little secret alien transmitter. There you go. Bzz, 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 yeah, it's, bzz. It's, a, it's a secret transmitter. <laughs> it's got a little screw in here, so if you could put it on a tripod. Well, you could put it on a tripod and do it. No, that's put it on nice. a tripod, or you can put it on this weird little boxy thing here. 
<laughs> and then the remote, what's the, is there anything fancy about the remote? No, this looks like a pretty vanilla remote. Now we're hoping we don't have to use the remote because it's a smart home and so theoretically there there is an app for this thing. So oh, hopefully course. you can do it from the app and through Alexa because you didn't mention it but it supports Alexa. I did mention it. You did? Yeah, you weren't oh, paying yeah, attention. Right. I wasn't paying attention. I was so excited about what was in the box. Yep. All, All right. right. That's good. All right. Now the, now the real excitement. Okay. I think I'm going to have to stand up for this part because I know this box is very heavy. So when, maybe some room over here. Okay. The excitement. This is it. This is the excitement. Anything else in the box? No. Okay, let me do this. Don't, don't throw it. Here we go. Take all the tape off. Everything's got tape. All right, tape, tape, tape. Did you know, by the way, that Denon is a 110-year-old company? Denon's a 110-year-old company? It is Where's it from? They're from Japan, and they're Japan's first electronics manufacturer. Oh, not just stereo manufacturer. You're talking about electronics. Audio, elect well, it says audio electronics. Oh, look what they gave us. A power cord? Power cord. All right. I'm glad that it has a power cord. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, here we go. This is it. The big unveiling. That's it. Oh. Okay, I'm going to take this out and you can throw that out. Okay, there it is. The big Denon. It is very big. It's very big. It's tall. Big grill work it's on here. Lots of and this thing air weighs holes. a lot. I don't even know. How, does it even say how much it weighs? Is there any spec on that? How much it weighs? It weighs a lot. Let's put it that way. It weighs a lot. It weighs 21 pounds. Holy mackerel. 25 okay. pounds with the packaging. All right. So let's see what's on the front. So will you guys all look at the back. I'm going to talk about the front. So let's see what it says in the front. Oh, you said that. That's the. Uh, since 1910. Since 1910. And then the Dolby At Atmos. Mm -hmm. So that's the sound adjustment stuff. Uh, and I noticed something that Dolby Atmos on our Q series TV from Samsung, it actually knows about it. And I guess it can set the settings of the of the Atmos. All kind right, kind of cool. Um, Seven point two channels, ninety five watts per channel. That just means it can power two zones, right? So you can either have seven speakers plus a subwoofer in one zone, or you can put like five speakers plus a subwoofer in one zone, like we have, and two speakers. Is a point elsewhere. two a subwoofer? Yeah, it's a subwoofer, which means you can actually have two, one for oh, each zone. That's cool. I guess. Um, and then it's got six HDMI inputs. Only one of them, I believe, is um, 8K. The other ones are 4K. Oh, okay. And then uh, it has that EARC. I don't know what the E stands for yet. We'll have to learn about that. But the ARC is audio return channel. That means when we connect the HDMI cable from the TV to the receiver, the TV can control everything, and all the sound from the TV can go right back into the receiver. And that's really nice because you don't have to mess with any special clicking of the of the app, right? It's yeah, that's what it says. Through the main HDMI output, connect your TV with the eARC HDMI support to allow uncompressed and object-based audio formats like Dolby Atmos and DTS-X directly from your smart TV app to your AV receiver. So that must be the E, must yeah. be because it works with the other stuff. So, okay, what else they got? It's got, uh, I don't know, it's got... 4K 120, well, that's good. And then VRR, whatever that means. Mm -hmm. Is there anything on VRR? Mm, I don't know, I don't see it. All right. And then uh, HDR 10 plus. I don't know, okay. our TV do I think our TV does HDR. Yeah, it? our TV does HDR. Okay, and then it's got high res audio. I love that name. So Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and AirPlay 2. Something called Rune, which I have no idea where Rune is. Uh, it now supports Pandora. So you remember earlier I was saying that the old receiver stopped doing some things. One of the things it stopped doing was Pandora. And so this one now does Pandora. Now got Pandora. And it, it does that through Heos. Oh, okay. And it must have done a big deal because Pandora is right here with a big, huge logo on the front. On the front of the unit. And then the phono input. So like I, I still have my old record player. So mm -hmm. we can actually plug it in. But you can see in the front they also labeled it with Heos and Alexa. And uh, what's this other thing called? Google, Google Assistant. Google Assistant. What's that? Do we use that? Sometimes. I think I have one in my office. Spotify. And Spotify. Okay, now let's take a look at the back. Okay, what do we got in the back? Check this out. Gosh, there's tons and tons of connections. It's just exciting looking at all the connections, right? <laughs> so, and it'll be interesting to see how many we have. So there's like a cable satellite connection you can put in here. 
Uh, oh, this is where the antennas go. So remember those little antennas? Oh, There's like two little things at the back here. Oh, that's where the little you ears the, go? You put the ears on here. So you just take the ear, oh. as you can see. You can do that right now. I can put the ears on right now. So here we go, antenna. Oh, no one can see me doing it, though. Mm -hmm. Hold it, hold it. Let's turn it. We'll turn it so we can see the excitement of putting in the antenna. Look at this. This is exciting. And there it is. One antenna. Yep. Ta-da, we got antenna. Now, now it has ears. We're gonna plug this in. So in the back of this thing, there's also there's also a network connection. So we're gonna plug our network in like we do today. No, so, we don't really so we don't need these for Wi-Fi, but it helps the Bluetooth. So if we, for example, hook up our headset, it'll be helpful for that. Yeah, so you can watch TV when you watch those stupid Star Treks. So I don't have to stupid hear the Star sound. Trek. What do you mean? How can Star Trek is not stupid? Excuse okay. me, sorry. <laughs> when you watch that great Star Trek, but See? when I'm sleeping, you can listen to it full blast on That's your true. headphones. That's true. I'm still amazed sometimes how many episodes of certain Star Treks I hadn't seen. Uh, okay, so um, in the back, there's the FM antenna, so that's kind of nice. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, all the HDMI inputs. Check them all out. There's six of them. So if you look at it, they actually have them labeled for different things so that you can kind of like plug in and kind of know what you're plugging into the thing. So we'll use the Blu-ray one. Uh, we'll use the cable satellite one. We will? Yeah, that'll be our uh, Apple TV. Oh. And then uh, we won't use the 8K because we don't have 8K. And then there's two HDMI outputs. And uh, we're going to use the one with ERC, or EARC, -E -E Audio Return Channel, Electronic Audio Return Channel. Uh, and then if we had another TV one hook up, we could hook it up to yeah, the second channel. Yeah, too. That's cool. That's pretty cool. So um, that's neat. And then there's a bunch of analog inputs. So if we had some old analog things that, you know, use those yellow end cables and the red and the, and the, and the black cables, we could plug them in here and, and, and put it on there. Uh, there's also the ability to do a component video out. So if you have an older monitor that has those connections. Uh, and then on the bottom, that's really the, the, it's really the key thing here is there's front, left, and front right. So those are your two main speakers. Then the center speaker, and then your surround speaker. So your left and right surround speaker. So that's our, those will be our five. That's zone one for us. And then in the, uh, the next two, these are called surround back. And these you can assign in the app and say, oh, I don't really want to use those in zone one. I want to use them as zone two. Oh, okay. And those are I the, was wondering where those would get right. plugged in. So this, we'll plug this in for our speakers in the backyard. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's pretty much it. There's other controls. You can actually uh, connect up an IR uh, room, uh, thing to re thing, uh, I, IR <laughs> repeater into this thing. Uh, also an IR output, so you can control other things if you want to. And then... Um, What's that? This one here. No, this. This here? Oh, RS-232C. So that's that's probably older than me. And that's pretty <laughs> old. So um, this is a, a serial input. This is how it used to be. We, you ever remember on your old PCs? You oh. Had one of these connectors? That's how you did your, your communication. So in for installers, right, for the custom folks, they like to plug in their little console to this, and then they can set oh, up a okay. bunch of extra features. I still can't believe they do anymore. <laughs> We think they'd use the network, but yeah. that's what they do. So uh, that's it. And then there's a few other things you have for audio for pre-outs. If you happen to have another amplifier, you want to hook it up. We're not going to worry about that. So, and then of course the most important thing is the AC in connector. Yes. For the, for the AC power. power connector. Yeah, that's definitely so. the most important thing. So that's it. That's the that's that's the receiver. I guess that now it's just a matter of plugging in the wires from the old one into this one here. Yep, sounds exciting. I was just looking to make sure we didn't miss anything, but I think you covered everything, cover Mark. Anything? I think so. So that's it. I'm all excited because this is what really makes the sound come alive. Of course, now that I say it, I think something that we don't use but a lot of other people might be interested in is it's got a lot of gaming technology. So it's got, um, I'm not sure what all of this stuff means, but you can plug your game console in. There's even one that's assigned to it. And it says it's got the, uh, take your gaming to the next level with 4K pass through as well as variable refresh rate, quick frame transport, and ultra low latency mode or auto low latency mode. Yeah, that's important for gamers. So when you move the controller, right, they don't. Yeah, you don't see get any lag. Thing. And the TV we have evidently has some capability there as well. So I guess now we have a modern setup that we can control totally over the over Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. Right, it's going to be pretty good because yeah. we've been kind of living with the IR remote stuff for a long time. Mm -hmm. and, 
It works most of the time, but it's not as exciting. Yeah, our other receiver was really nice. It was just using uh, older internet technology. It was probably one of the first internet connected receivers. Yeah, certainly early on. It, early it's on. been great. I mean, it's a it's a, another model similar to this. Uh, actually, it has more power per channel. Uh, it still works great. So we're going to move that upstairs <laughs> in our in our in our bonus room. So when the grandkids come and visit, they got a nice TV and nice stereo to listen to. As they get older, they're getting older. <laughs> they're getting older. It's like they're not this big anymore. They're this big. It's like <laughs> holy mackerel. So, uh, so that should be a lot of fun. So that's. I think that's it. I, I think, think we're that's done. It. I we're going to go over everything. Got it all. All right. Thanks for watching our video today. We've included more information about the Denim receiver, including links where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And for more smart home stories, visit appmyhome.com. Thank you. Thank you.